Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Paul Reed and I'm a professional photographer. You know, this channel has always been about inspiration. It's always been my aim to inspire you guys to just go out there and shoot, go out and be better photographers. I've never ever wanted this really to be just all about me. I've wanted it to be about you guys and the greatest compliment that I can ever get is the fact that whenever I put my photographs and everything up on here that you are inspired and that it makes you want to go out there and shoot for photos yourself. So today I'm actually going to be talking a bit about another photographer. He's called Simon Murphy and I came across Simon Murphy just completely by accident. He's got an exhibition that's on in Glasgow and you really need to go and see that exhibition. If you get a chance, if you can travel to Glasgow and go and see that exhibition, then you really must go and see it. So I went to Glasgow just for a day out with my girlfriend and it was so cold, but you know, she, I, I took some photographs of my girlfriend but down one of my favorite little lanes in Glasgow. And you know, she, she just, she's also an inspiration to me because she just lets me take photographs of her whenever I want. And I took these photographs of her and I bumped into a gentleman who is also a, a subscriber of this channel. He said, are you Paul Reed?" I said, yes, and got talking to him and he told me of this exhibition that was on by Simon Murphy. Now I'd never heard of Simon Murphy. I know there's gonna be a lot of you guys in the comments are gonna say, what, you never heard of Simon Murphy? He's amazing. I, look, I, I don't know why, but I just had never come across him. And look, there's gonna be a lot of you that's also watching this channel that have also never heard of him because a lot of my followers are from, you know, like the US, all over the world, really. So not everybody is going to know who he is. But let me tell you, this guy has got the best street portrait photography that I've ever seen in my life. He's just a complete inspiration to me. And I'm gonna be showing you some of his images because I just want you to be inspired as well through his work. Apart from being just in awe of the photography, and of course it, it, it's my type of thing because it's all monochrome, just absolutely beautiful portraits. I'd, I'd never seen a bad portrait there when I was in that exhibition. And this project, the project itself is inspiring to me because what happened was Simon was awarded a hundred rolls of Tri-X film. And what he did was he decided that he was gonna do a project of all you know, people at Govan Hill in Glasgow, and he was going to use all of those hundred rolls of film. So there's a beginning and an end to that project. And also, you know, doing things on film, you could take, you know, you could use a film, and there could be just, it just could be rubbish. You know, that one film, you know, you could have got nothing on that. But he, his project was to use all 100 of those films and the hope was to get 100 portraits and i just think that's such a it's a brave move but also it's just it's just almost genius i think to do that because you have got that finishing goal and sometimes when we take on projects and things when we do projects we seem to keep these as open project where there is no end to them that these projects never seem to finish some projects never even seem to begin the way we go sometimes but this is just a, an inspiration to us all to really get going with these projects that we've got in our minds but i think what it is also showing me is is to have some kind of goal and some kind of end point to the project so that it's limited and that you can then have an exhibition afterwards. Now, I know that seems like a pipe dream to a lot of us photographers where, you know, we'd have this exhibition and Simon's exhibition is outstanding and it's a big exhibition as well. What an achievement. I was that impressed with his exhibition that when I was holding my workshop, 
or which was a couple of days after I'd just been to the exhibition, when I was holding the workshop, rather than have our usual lunch break, I took everybody to his exhibition to show them his portraits rather than have a lunch. We just grabbed a sandwich and went there. And everybody that was on that workshop that day was equally inspired and equally amazed by his work. hope that those street portraits I hope you like them as much as what I do but I, I hope they've inspired you to you know just try and get out there and do street portraits you know pluck up that courage to ask the people that you see that you just think oh, I'd really like to take their portrait just to pluck up that courage you know to do it because it's very rare that anybody says no. Simon's got a YouTube channel which is just kind of showing you know his journey throughout this project. There's just about six episodes on there at the moment uh, during the filming of this and but even watching those episodes I just had this big smile on my face watching those episodes just seeing his journey through I really hope that you know you go over to his channel and subscribe to it. I've subscribed to it and put the bell on and everything because I'm dying to see the next episode. And I just hope that you know this just just inspires you the way that it has me. I've still got some spaces left on my workshop in Glasgow that I'm holding and that is on the 20th of February so there's just a few spaces left on that one so it'll be great to see you there I've also got some London workshops just a couple the February one's full but I've got some spaces left on the one on the 25th of January in London and the 21st of March I've got some spaces left on that workshop as well it'd be great to see you there thanks everybody again I'll see you next time.